throw three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities. Crafting's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Plus three clever projects, and you've got a craft show that'll have you say, that's clever. I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to That's Clever. Some crafters' personalities are as colorful as the palettes they use in their work. But this artist from Norman, Oklahoma, she loves paisley in every shape and form and creates a collage that really sparkles. Hi, I'm Liz Motti and I'm from Norman, Oklahoma. I love colorful paper especially paisley. I even make bags with paisley on them. I also like to use paisley in my art. Today, I'm gonna make this paisley collage. To get started, I've gotta stop playing with these ducks and start cutting some paper. Off to my studio. Welcome to my studio. This is where my paisleys come alive. To begin, I start by painting my background. I take my purple paint and squirt it onto a plate. Then I mix it with a light blue and come up with a nice lilac color. I like to use acrylic paint because it dries quickly. I paint half the canvas purple and then I leave the rest blank. I kind of like to treat painting like a sport. Voila! While my paint is still wet, I take a stamp and dip it in the purple paint and transfer it over to the white area. I use a flexible foam stamp because it helps to give this nice antique sort of aged look. I have to make sure that I keep it very flat down on the canvas so that all of the paint gets transferred. I repeat this step several times until the entire canvas is full. My canvas is virtually dry, so I can move on to cutting paisleys. I already went ahead and cut out a template of the paisley that I'm going to use. I'm going to put it on some scrapbooking paper, trace it, and cut it out. I chose this paper because it's purple and green, my two favorite colors. Second verse, same as the first. because they kind of look like amoebas dancing. And I love to dance, so why not? I've got my paisleys all cut out, so now I'm going to cut the tails off so they can both fit on the canvas. My paisleys are all cut out and looking good. Now it's time to cut some petals for the flowers that I'm going to put in the middle. To make the flower petals, I cut a wide strip of this striped paper then I fold it accordion style. And play a little polka tune on my accordion. I'm gonna cut this strip into two sections because right now it's too thick to cut all the way through. Draw my petal pattern and cut it out. Now it's time to put the metal to the petal. cut out, time to make some leaves. Now these are not any ordinary leaves, these are fleur de leaves. I start by cutting a really wide strip of this green paper, then I fold it hamburger ways, and then hot dog ways, so that I can make two of the same image. Little trick I learned in elementary school. After I fold my paper, I draw on the fleur de lis design and cut it out. I've got all my petals and fleur de leaves cut out. Now it's time to add a border. I'm 
I'm going to cut strips of paper from these three patterns to make borders for my paisleys. To make cutting the strips into smaller pieces faster, I stack all the strips on top of one another and then cut them all in one fell swoop. Now that all my little green pieces are cut up, I take these special scissors to make a nice scallop pattern on the edge. These pieces will be the top edge of my border. I take my black and white floral pattern and cut it into strips. On to my crazy polka dots. I cut my strips of polka dots into pieces of three dots and then four dots. And I can cut them all at once if I stack them up just right. I've got all my pieces cut out, and now I can glue them onto my canvas using decoupage gloss, which I like to use because it's quick and it's clear. All my pieces are glued down to the canvas. I think it needs a little sparkle. Are my glue is pretty. To glue my jewels down, I like to use tacky glue. This glue is great because it dries clear. I've added all my clear jewels to the border. Now it's time to put in my big blue jewels. The big blue ones go in the center of the flowers. I love shiny things, so I decided to add a little bit of glitter. Start by making a line of glue around my paisleys. Sprinkle a little of this on there. It'll look fabulous, Dobby. I smush the line of glue around and rub the glitter in it so it gets really nice and shiny. Crafting's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. My collage has all the sparkle I want. I've added another layer of decoupage gloss to seal down the jewels and the glitter. I've also added a black border around the edges to hide the staples. My paisley collage is complete. I think it looks fantastic. Coming up, the heat is on in this crafter's New Mexico studio. See why it's all about the gray area when he melts pewter to create a home accessory. But first, this artist from California is branching out with a wood burning technique. She's carving a candle accessory that's right on the nose. Next up, that's clever.